light mode, dark mode. Light mode, dark mode. Light mode, definitely dark mode. Hey guys, if you didn't know, I got a brand new and improved vlog channel. Smash that subscribe button. I will link it in the description. It would mean everything to me if you went and subscribed. Also, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Self Made CEO Podcast. The Self Made CEO Podcast. I'm your host, Adrian Finch. If you didn't know, I have a podcast called Self Made CEO. We talk all about business, success, manifestation, mindset, shifting, and all of that good stuff. Link below. And now back to the video you actually wanted to watch. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I have my Steve Jobs turtleneck on today because, you know, in the spirit of iPhone and Apple, I feel like I needed to wear my Steve Jobs turtleneck. I actually haven't worn this shirt in a video since I got this phone. <laughs> and yes, I know it's black. His is black, but I like this better. When iOS 13 came out and dark mode happened, I got so excited and then this morning I woke up I went to Instagram and it was dark all of a sudden and they rolled out dark mode and I got super pumped. So I'm literally filming this today. We're going to talk all about dark mode. We're going to talk about Instagram dark mode and we're going to talk about the pros and cons of it and honestly why I am a huge proponent of dark mode, the things you can do on it. And that's about it. Which apps have it, which apps don't. I am a firm believer in dark mode and by the time you're done watching this video, you'll probably be converted as well. <laughs> okay, so if you guys didn't know, which you obviously knew, dark mode just rolled out for iOS 13 on Apple devices and for Android 10. So if you have Android 10 or iOS 13, you are able to use dark mode. Now, what is dark mode? Dark mode basically just means it's converting everything you see on your display screen into a darker version of it. So instead of the backgrounds being white and light and bright, they are dark and somber and depressing. There are many benefits to dark mode, which we will get into, but honestly, it is so good for anyone who has bad eyesight or it just improves low light vision. So if you're like in a darker room or at nighttime, instead of this bright light like flashing on your eyes, it's a lot calmer, it's a lot better for your eyes. I also wanna mention that dark mode actually prolongs your battery life because dark pixels require less power than light colored pixels. So, and actually some systems can operate on dark pixels with absolutely no power, because obviously when your phone's like off, you aren't lighting anything up. So that'll definitely take care of any battery issues you're having. I mean, I don't want to say it's going to like solve all the problems, but I definitely think it'll be good. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have a phone, what kind of phone you have, and whether you prefer dark or light mode. I would love to know. So how do you enable dark mode? I'm just going to show you on iOS because that's what I have. So I'm sorry, Android users. You can definitely Google it, um, <laughs> but it's pretty self-explanatory. A lot of the instructions are the same across. Also, I'm recording this in like prime rush hour in LA, so if you hear any honking, that's why. Okay, so in order to enable dark mode, you are going to go into your settings and then you're gonna go down to display and brightness. And here's where you have the option to do light, which is by default, or dark. So I chose dark. That's how, that's literally all you do to switch to dark mode. Now, it does give you the option to set your phone to be light when it's light outside and dark when it's dark outside, or you can set a custom time. And how you would do that is by just toggling on this automatic button. And then the options are, it can be light until sunset. So sunset to sunrise would mean that when the sun rises, it turns to light mode. When the sun sets, it turns to dark mode. Or you can do a custom schedule. So you can have it be light at a certain time, dark at a certain time. I personally just want to do one or the other. It kind of messes with my mind to go back and forth, but I do know some people who do like that. I personally don't. So I just keep it on dark baby. Now, you can notice right away some of the things that dark mode has. For example, the dock is a lot darker in dark mode. The notification center is completely dark as well. And if you force touch something, that is also dark. And if you're swiping between your apps, they're all showing up as dark. So when this first rolled out, I was just pumped because honestly, part of it is just about change. I like switching up the way something looks, as you guys know, with my many what's on my iPhone videos. I like that. So I've been so used to for years and years and years having this light, bright, white background. And I just was pumped to have kind of a sleek, sophisticated looking, like new way to look at everything. I also switched my MacBook to dark mode because that actually came out, I think, before the iOS 13. Maybe it was at the same time, I don't know, I don't remember, but I already had started using dark mode on my computer and becoming familiar with it, and so then I immediately started using it on my phone. So let's talk about apps, okay? At first, the only apps that were compatible with dark mode were the stock apps, and the stock apps are just the ones that come on the iPhone. So any Apple-owned app, like your calendar, photos, your camera, your maps, settings, clock was already dark, 
notes, you know, all those ones that you put in a random folder because you don't care. Okay, so at first it was only those apps that had dark mode enabled. Every other app, it's up to them to make their own user interface dark. But we have some interesting things that have happened, okay? First of all, YouTube and Twitter already had a dark mode feature and a lot of people didn't know that they did. So actually back at the beginning of 2018, YouTube and Twitter both rolled out a dark mode feature. And if you guys are interested in enabling this, but you don't have iOS 13 or Android 10, here's what you do. You go to the YouTube app, click on settings, and then toggle on dark theme. And that makes everything dark. So you can do that even if you don't have iOS 13. Same with Twitter. If you go to Twitter, mine's already in dark mode. But if you just go to settings and privacy, display and sound, you can turn dark mode off if you want. I want it on, of course. So that's interesting to know that some of these apps have already had dark mode enabled and they also did on desktop. So I actually never used to this, but I saw people using the dark mode YouTube on their desktop computers before desktops even had dark mode as a whole. So. That's something that's cool if you want to do that. So which apps have dark mode now? Because as I mentioned, some other apps have just been rolling out with dark mode and it makes me so excited. Instagram so quietly rolled out dark mode without telling like anyone. I just woke up this morning and it was dark and all of a sudden everyone on Twitter and everyone in person was like, oh my God, it's dark. So Instagram now has dark mode. Let me show you guys. So this is what it looks like. Unfortunately, you do have to have iOS 13. I actually just think the pictures look so much cooler with a black background. I don't know why, it just really pops out. I'm a big fan. So I was super excited about that. And how you enable dark mode on Instagram is that you have to just enable dark mode on your phone and it'll automatically enable it on Instagram. If you have Android 10, you can actually also enable it through the app itself, but not for iPhone. Oh, it just looks so cool. Also on the topic of Instagram, I don't know if you guys noticed, but they got rid of the activity section that has the following part. So you can no longer stalk people and see what pictures they liked, which I'm a little bit annoyed about. It's great for privacy, terrible for stalking. So here's a little list of the outside third party apps that do have a dark mode now. Twitter, YouTube, Facebook Messenger, but not Facebook. Now this is interesting too, and I'm gonna, about to do this. Apparently to activate dark mode in Facebook Messenger, you're supposed to send someone a crescent emoji. So we're gonna do that right now. Cause I think that is so weird. I'm gonna send it to this store because I don't wanna be weird. Why do I feel like this is not a real thing? Just sent it. Okay, was that a joke? Was someone messing with me? Okay, I'm stupid. I think someone was messing with me, but I read that online. <laughs> if you just go to your settings and toggle on dark mode, then there you have it. But Facebook itself has not rolled out dark mode yet, so that's interesting. More apps that have it, Reddit, Twitch, Gmail, but for some reason Gmail isn't working for me. It's telling me when I Google to go to settings and turn it on, it's not working for me. If it's not working for you guys yet, if any of these aren't working yet, it's because they roll these features out, which means literally rolling out means that it's not all at once. It's like in waves. So you will get it. You should get it in a day or two days or three days, sometimes a week, but you will get the feature. So for Gmail, for some reason, I don't have it yet. All my software is up to date and I still don't have it, but that's okay. WhatsApp is another big one that is not available in dark mode yet for iOS, but it is available for Android. So it should be rolling out really soon for us iOS peeps. And I know a lot of you guys in the UK or in Australia and other countries use WhatsApp a lot. So that'll be really nice. Waze has it, which is my favorite navigation app, the Kindle app, and then most of the Google apps, Google Calendar, Calculator, Contacts, Google Drive have it. Apps that I would like to see have dark mode Chrome. So Chrome has it on desktop, but does not yet have it on mobile. So that would be kind of nice. So to recap in terms of apps, all the stock Apple apps have dark mode available if you have iOS 13 or above. Well, that's actually the top one. <laughs> Other than that, every third party app itself needs to roll out a dark mode. So Instagram has it, Twitter and YouTube have always had it, and all the ones that I just mentioned have it. The only thing I will say, and I think this, these are things that'll be improved upon as new software rolls out, Safari, for example, is in dark mode. But when I actually go to type a website, it is then light again. So it's not converting each site to be in a dark mode, which I understand that would probably be a hard thing to do because each website site controls what it looks like but that does kind of bother me because it you know you kind of want everything you're looking at to be like dark you don't want it to just flash a bunch of bright into your face so hopefully that's something they can improve upon as time goes on maybe and then another thing I want to show you guys with dark mode that I didn't realize is if you go to your settings and then you go to wallpaper they actually have wallpaper options that are compatible for dark and light mode so if you click on stills these ones with the little logos in the bottom 
glow. Those mean that they have both light and dark mode. So if your setting is on the one where it like starts as light mode and then goes into dark mode, and if you have one of these backgrounds set, then your background will actually transition over from dark to light to dark to light, whatever which I think is pretty cool. I do wish there were more, but I understand that this just rolled out, so I'm assuming they'll probably add more, but that is pretty cool. So I'm in dark mode, obviously, so this is dark, but if I were to be in light mode, it'd be light. So all in all, I personally love dark mode. I first switched it to dark mode and then kind of switched it back because I think I realized I just wasn't used to it. It was just a very different, especially for things like messages and notes. I was just like, whoa, it's so dark. But then I switched it back to dark and I realized that is definitely what I want to stick to, especially now that some of the apps are dark as well. That was part of it. My brain was very thrown off with like, oh, my whole phone's dark. And then Instagram is like bright. I didn't love that. So I love dark mode. I'm absolutely going to keep it in dark mode. I also have my computer in dark mode. And it's just been really cool to experience like a new way of looking at everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. I I hope you found it helpful and insightful and I don't know what else and entertaining and I would love to hear your guys's comments talk amongst yourselves in the chat I want to know like what do you guys think of it? It's so different It's crazy to think back to like my old videos about like iPhone 7 and when iPhone 7 first came out and now we're on iPhone 11 I just can't even believe it. But anyway, love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye